And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio, Death World. And speaking of death, there's a lot of it out there, boy. It's, uh... We are getting just constant waves of attacks. But on the bright side, we're probably racking up quite a few of the giblets. Well, as you can see, I've put some work into this little design here. It's been quite the experience uh, trying to get all this stuff up and running. Uh, I think I have a working design. I have the ferric chloride solution being piped in here for all of, I have six of these. And I have a wood thing right here ready to go. Um, this produces two boards, so I should be able to output on both sides simultaneously. So let's power it up and see what happens. There we go. The first circuit boards are on the way. I have a, a belt balancer up here. So even though they're all being put on the same side, they're getting balanced up here. So they should be fine coming down. And then the other output down here is also getting balanced right here before we're going to add it to the bus. So we should be getting the first, there we go, first sign of them. It is being made, so that is a good thing. Yep. The first white circuits are on their way, which means we can work a little on where these are going to come in. They can't come in right here because of this underground belt. However, they could come in right here. So let's see if we can sneak them in. Okay, so that has to be. Can I move them in? I can. So let's move them up and over. And I need some more belt. Just like so. And then I will throw a splitter in there just to offset them one. I don't like just doing something like this. I like to use a splitter if they just have to be offset by one. So they're all working. We got a little bit. We got enough. It is a one to one and I've got five of these and six of these. So I wanted to make sure we had plenty of boards coming down the line to fill all these up to, to maximize my productivity here. We have plenty of these being made. No problem there. And plenty of Silicon, excellent. So that is doing fine. You know, this is going to put a little bit of a strain on some of my resources. Not a whole lot. I mean, tin, tin is being used quite a bit and I don't have any of that upgraded and that tin is actually out. So that is not a good sign. Um, well, that's not cool. And this one's probably almost out. So let I'll let that run out. We'll check back in a bit to see, see if that's made any progress. Now I'm looking at blue science. Actually, I'm going to need one more thing in order to get blue science off the ground. And if you guessed that was batteries, you are right. So batteries. 
lead, plastic, and sulfuric acid. Yeah, look at all the giblets over here. Woo, that's a lot. So lubricants full, heavy oils filling up, light oils fine, petroleum gas is full. Those are all good things. So sulfuric acid, right now we're actually being able to mine sulfur, which is kind of awesome. But sulfuric acid itself is a water and sulfur dioxide or, um, let's see, I have it unlocked. There it is. Sulfur, iron, and water. So we need iron in this process. And because the sulfuric acid is kind of a pain, I'm thinking, where should I put batteries? Because they're going to be used in a few places. My bus is getting a little extreme. We can put batteries right above here. Right above the silicon. I can sneak them up right up in here. So this is a good area right here to make batteries. And by extension, sulfuric acid. So, do I have enough resources on me? This is a chemical plant. I have iron over here, but that's being made into steel. I don't really have any other iron over here. So, I could... I have a little bit of iron coming down here. I could hmm well let's start the process of getting sulfur to me let's uh, upgrade these mining drills I have researched the next level of mining drills so A little bit faster than the other ones. Um, if we're going to go up here, let's just really go up. Okay. See, much faster. Uses a lot more power but and way more pollution 25.6 pollution for that that is pretty extreme i wonder if that pops up right away no it doesn't i have a little bit of pollution around my pollution cloud actually isn't horrendous it's tickling some of these other bases but so far oh there's a big attack right there so far i've uh i've done pretty good yeah there's a little bit right here there's it's in this chunk right here so it's filling up all right water i'm not worried about we can grab that with uh, bob's mods the water pump it's the iron that's the tricky part so Batteries is a chemical plant thing, I'm fairly certain, as well as the sulfuric acid is as well. So let's see, needs 10 water per second. So let's do, that's five, how much, how many batteries use? Two every five seconds. So let's do mm, two sulfuric acid producers. 
And let's put them... Right here. Uh, let's move it down a little bit. So we're going to make sulfuric acid. And we're going to immediately put that into a tank. And the batteries need some special stuff. So plastic we actually have coming up right here. We can grab that. It's the lead that's the next trick because that's way up here and I'm not actually producing that much of it. So the, the lead is where it's tricky. And let's see. Um, water and uh, hmm. this is kind of tricky. So we have one coming in here. If I make that a If I make that a long-armed, I can sneak it in right there. And bring down of course Bring down my iron. That way I can do a fast long armed inserter. Now I just need the sulfur. And then I can bring those in. Just like that. Bring the sulfur up. And let's, uh, let's bring it over that line. And if I want plastic, I'm going to have to branch that off. But I don't want to take up that much room. Oh, need more belt. So and I will squeak over like that. You don't really lose anything in the process, just doesn't look as good. Here we go, and this is a five sulfur, so it, it uses quite a bit of sulfur. But since we're mining it, I'm not really too worried about it. And I can cover everything with one awesome power pole. And there we go. I could actually add another one. Since the crafting time on that is so fast. And that gets me sulfuric acid, which we will turn around. I'm going to have to kind of navigate, figure out if I can get lead down here. That is going to be the trick because 
we have a very, very limited supply of lead. Very limited supply, and it's kind of, kind of bad. All these slow inserters are just painful. Looking forward to my express inserters. Lots of galena up here, which is great. I don't know how it chooses. I guess it goes from front to back. All right. Enough worrying about that. Yeah, lead is the only tricky part to this right now because we have so many belts down here. But I want it's the crafting time on these five seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna want at least ten battery makers for uh, twelve. If I make ten of these, I could do twenty, basically twenty blue science and be good with it, but. I'm not going to do all of that. So I'll do 10 batteries. Okay, so these need lead and plastic. And maybe I'll only do nine. Nine is a good number. There we go. Now I just need lead and plastic down here and a whole bunch of pipe. I'm always out of I'm always out of straight pipe because every time I craft underground pipe it just consumes all of my straight pipe. There we go. Now we've got some got some progress. Uh, plastic is the trick. Lead lead is the bigger trick. It looks like Sulfur is actually going pretty strong. We've got plenty of it, so I'm not too worried about it. But I will finish off batteries next episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.